YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today to test the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I'm probably the last person to test this for the first time, but that's okay. So, going to Ulta.com, the price is $8.99, and I have the color Addiction. Alright, so... Revlon's Ultra HD Matte Lip Color is a lightweight, high-definition matte color for a moisturizing, velvety feel. 100% wax-free gel formula, plush velvety applicator, creamy mango, and whipped vanilla fragrance. Many high-definition shades to love. Looks like it comes in... 16 shades? I hope I'm counting that right. I'm sorry if I sound like a frog or anything like that. I have a massive cold right now. But I actually woke up early today due to massive cold. So I figured I should take advantage of it and film. And they say it's moisturizing. I hope so because my lips are dry as the desert right now. Now I don't have any lip balm, lip primer, or lip liner on right now, so this is all just me. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Please excuse my foundation. I decided to try one of my samples today because I'm trying to use a bunch of my samples by the end of the year, those little foil packs, and it did not agree with my face. Okay, so like I said, nothing on my lips. This is the applicator right here. Okay, it, it really is mango and vanilla. It is strong. Like, it's getting through the cold. Okay, so let's put this on. Now I've heard that these really don't dry down to a super matte finish, it's more like a satin matte. Which is probably going to be more comfortable for me today, because like I said, my lips dry as a desert. It was a little streaky going on, but it was pretty easy to fix. But I mean, it's got some good pigment to it, and using both sides of it, it only took one dip to fully do my lips. So. I can't smell the scent anymore, but like I said, head cold, cold. One of the things I got to do today is to go to Walgreens and buy all of the cold medicine because I have nothing, apparently. And with the nice fall weather that we're actually getting in Louisiana, I immediately become infected with the plague. Anyways, I will go, up, go throughout my day. When it wears off, I will check in and reapply, see how it applies over itself. And I will see you guys later. Okay, I'm back. Um, I forgot to mention what time I put everything on. Um, which was 12.30. It's now 2.30. I've eaten lunch. And I'll bring you in closer. And it has faded, but... I mean, if I left it alone as is from a distance, you can't really tell the difference. I did redo my makeup, by the way. Because it had turned awful. Um, this is not transfer proof. Because I, while I ate lunch, it had transferred down to my chin. I mean, I took care of that when I took care of my makeup. But when I am up close, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I can see through it. So I am going to reapply. But like from a distance, I don't think anybody would really notice too much. better. Now this never truly sets like a traditional liquid matte liquid lipstick does. So it's never going to be that full matte that some people are looking for. Like right now it's actually pretty glossy but it does set to a pretty satin matte finish. So yep. And when I need to reapply I will check back in. Okay, so it's 8.49, which means it's been eh, eight hours, and I'm tired. I'm sick. I need to go take my Green Death flavored NyQuil, or the Walgreens brand, 
and hopefully get a real amount of sleep. But I have to do this first, which something occurred to me. God forbid somebody tries to pan one of these things because this packaging is not conducive to getting all your product out. But just a random thought that I had. So I did, I did eat dinner and I did have to reapply because it got everywhere. <laughs> There is no stay putness to this. It literally comes right off. But like even if I just like no this there is no stay putness to that. It is pretty moisturizing. It's not gonna dry your lips out because my lips are pretty dry right now and it's not messing with them any worse. So it does kind of lead up to those claims and with it dried down, it is mostly matte, but there is no, it doesn't make any claims about lasting power. So at least it's not lying to anybody in any way, shape or form with that. It does feel nice on the lips. You do get a comfortable satin matte finish. If you're sick of really drying liquid lipsticks, but you still want a at least mostly matte finish, this might be for you. The smell, it's not bad, but it's not very common, so I just wasn't used to it. It, def it definitely has like slightly faux mango to it. I'm really not getting any vanilla because it said it was like mango and vanilla. And initially I thought it smelled kind of like cherry cough syrup. It's not bad though, and once it's Maybe it's just because I can't smell too much right now, although out of the bottle I can smell this. But once it's on, once it's dried down, I can't smell anything out of it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would buy any more of these, but I'm not gonna get rid of this one. I like, and I definitely really like the color. So, if you were thinking about giving this a shot, and you, like I said, you're wanting something, it's a bright, bold color. It does take a little bit of layering up, but not, you don't have to do like, you know, four coats or anything. Just, you know, two, honestly, will get you about what you need at, at worst. And you find a shade that you really like. Like this, as soon as these came out, this was the shade I was drawn to. I just never picked one up at what, during its initial launch. If there's a shade you're really drawn to, and you're wanting a kind of more moisturizing matte, liquid lip, this might be for you. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and I will see you later. Bye.